Hey peeps, it's Ghostbusters back here with my blind playthrough of Lost Odyssey. We have beaten the old sorceress who turned out to be Sarah, our ex, well not ex-wife, I think just like long lost wife. So we've got her back in the team now. The goats in capital. We'd like you to unseal the black cave. Yeah, we needed her to open the, to like break the barrier on this cave that was nearby. That seal was set to prevent an invasion by Goza, so that Tosca wouldn't be caught up in a war. Yeah, but just, you know, your head was screwed on wrong then. <laughs> Even with your memory gone, you acted to protect others. The longer we leave Gongora to his own devices, the more children like ours will come to harm. Help us, Sarah. Am I going mad? Did Kaim, did Kaim always have glasses on? I'm sure he doesn't usually have glasses on, does he? Maybe I'm going crazy. That's either like a weird complete lapse of memory for me or a weird little new thing that they just added. Maybe because Sarah wear, is wearing her glasses. He's like, okay, I'll get mine back on. Off to the Black Cave South. Yeah, so I did a smidge of like grinding inside the old sorcerer's mansion off camera because I just I wanted to have a look at Sarah for a start. Um, and I just wanted to kind of play on a few abilities. Um, I'm definitely going to be like, I've got my team picked for now, but I'm definitely going to be rotating people. I can't even remember what the team it was that I actually went with. Okay, so Kaim and Seth in the front, and then I had to have Sarah because she's brand new. I still like Ming um, and Mac. So I definitely feel like there's a couple of things I've kind of, like, I'm deciding as, as the game progresses. One is that. Um, like immortals are really good, aren't they? But, I mean, <laughs> stating the obvious, but immortals can learn all the abilities as long as you kind of let them link up with the non immortals. So, you know, by the time you've given them a good chance to learn a bunch of stuff, they're going to be proper beasts. Um, you know, they, they have the potential to become way stronger than a non immortal. Um, also, the game is seems to be so heavily focused on mages, which is fine. I don't, I don't have a problem with that. I could think it's quite fun. But, like, really, the people who do physical attacks, Kaim and Seth, like, one, they're not very good at magic. And two, I don't know, I just feel like m magic seems to be more powerful, almost always. Um, obviously, healing is quite handy as well. Um, so, yeah, so for that reason, having Ming and... Sarah seems like a good option. The more mages, the better. Don't worry, nothing will happen. It's okay. What is this? Goats and soldiers? Were they coming to recruit men from the village? I imagine so. Huh? Hey, 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 w wait, wait a minute. I thought you said the cave critters would leave us alone if we didn't bug them. <laughs> That's what they were supposed to do. Something's not right here. Jansen's such a scaredy cat. sense something. Something terribly ominous. Stay alert! There we go. But yeah, it seems like I, I'm kind of slowly fit, like uh, discovering that it feels know, like the whole right? point of the Seth and Kaim is literally to just be like a meat shield. They are just at the front to, to just take the brunt force of attacks. So that everyone in the back, the mages, who are the real damage dealers, you know, they, they stay alive. Okay, so we got a bunch of night flyers. Oh, I must have unequipped my thing that tells me what enemies' weaknesses are. That's annoying, and I will fix that. Um, so it's good to know what their weaknesses are. Okay, we got a dark sorcerer and lots of night flyers. And when you got lots of um, power hit. Yeah, when you've got lots of enemies, it is very nice that I've taught everyone spirit magic. Because Shadow, I mean, it's not the most powerful spell in the world, but it attacks every single person. Which, and it only takes one turn, that's the deal breaker. Like, I've got other stuff that attacks everyone, like compos composite magic, um, but that takes two turns. Or Prism, but that takes two turns. Shadow attacks everyone and only takes one turn. It's an absolute monster of a move. I think, anyway. Oh wow, okay, these go down pretty easy then. 
Seth just took one out in one hit. Let's see if uh, Kaim can do the same. Yeah. He also absorbs a bit of magic points when he does it, which is always nice. Bum, bum, bum. Let's hope the... Uh... Hey, yeah, he's got counter-attack as well. I forgot about that. Beast. I think he learned that one from Mac. Yes, that's what I was saying. So I am going to... Like, this is my team for now. Um, but I am definitely going to rotate a, a little bit. Obviously, I don't even know if you can remove Kaim. Or I don't, I, don't, I don't think you would be able to. And I don't, I don't think I'd want to anyway. Ah, okay. That Dark Sorceress counters magic spells. So there's a good reason why maybe magic isn't always, always the best way. Although it is most of the time. Um, but yeah, so I'll definitely be rotating because, you know, Cook can do skill link with different people. And so can Mark and so can Jansen. Um, you know, they've all got something good about them, so... I don't really want to... Yeah, I might as well just heal someone. I don't really want to... Although no one... No one's in great need of... Do you know what? I think I might just defend with the... Um, the mages. Or it's, nah, we, I guess we could attack. We might, it, it'll only do a small amount of damage, but we might as well. Um, I just don't want him to do his magical counter. So... I'm not going to do... I mean, Mac still hits pretty hard, you know. He's like... he's. He doesn't mess around, Mac. Usually the the kind of mage types do stuff like that, 12. And it's like, oh, it's like a waste of time attacking with them. Um, but Mac can, you know, Mac can do magic and physical. The downside to Mac, obviously, is that he is not a mortal, as far as I know. Um, no, he, well, he isn't, because that's why he can't kind of do the whole skill link thing and learn all the abilities like everyone else can. Right, I'm gonna fix. Kaim learned treasure analysis. Seth learned crisis concentration. Ming learned anti anti poison. Yeah, so that's what I was doing in the mansion. I was just making sure I was get, getting everyone to learn a few abilities, office accessories, and a few skills. Right, who said they wouldn't attack? Because it wasn't me. <laughs> Some mysterious power was driving them, making them attack us. Didn't you feel it? But why? Must be magic energy. You mean Gongora? It's always oh, Gongora. Couldn't it be that this Maybe world's not. natural <laughs> magic energy is having some kind of effect? Blame everything on Gongora. Right, okay, I just want to whack on. I just want to make sure that someone has the skill. Uh, does he need to be able to do black magic? I don't think he does. If anything, I'd rather him do spirit magic, to be honest, because then he can do shadow. Um, but, I'll tell you what, actually, let's give him spirit magic. Let's see if anyone else has got a slot available. Yeah, again, I think I'd rather her do spirit magic than black magic. I'm obsessed. Anti-paralysis, that's quite nice. It boosts the amount of HP restored by healing magic. No, no. She doesn't heal enough to for, for that to be kind of particularly useful. Reveals the type and elements of enemies. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I need. Now I'm just going to make sure that um, people are not learning stuff that they've already learned, if you know what I mean. So yeah, like, it seems like there's a few people who need to change what their accessory is, just so they're learning something. I don't even care what it is. There we go. He can learn to not be turned to stone. He can learn composite magic. Yeah, why not? Um, I, I kind of feel like I'm running out of things with the accessories to learn that's particularly useful. But you know, I'm sure everything will come in useful in some way. Immunity to blindness. Actually, didn't know that's trash for her, isn't it? Because she's never going to do physical attacks anyway. Um, has everyone else learned the... No, oh, okay. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, this is the dead end. Outrageous. Oh, we got more of these little sil silvery birds to come. Do, do. What the hell are you at the back? Okay, so... We can take these guys out pretty easy, it seems. I'll whack on a shadow. 
hopefully that guy at the back isn't like the Dark Sorcerer and doesn't also um, do magic counters. Time will tell. I feel like the, uh, the physical attackers are finally starting to do some meaningful damage, though. It's nice. Like, for a while, Seth and Kain felt like they were the weak link, which kind of made no sense, like, to me, story-wise. Because it's like, you know, they're the immortals, they're the big beasts, they're the ones leading, yeah, they're the leaders. Um. No, no magical counter. I like it. I love being able to attack everyone in one turn. It's beautiful. Right, he has no element. Should have actually looked at that, shouldn't I? He drops a Padawee Thorn, a Black Pearl Powder, and Magic Sealing Feather. I don't know if it's like... I assume it drops one of those at random, not rather than dropping all three. I don't know. Perfect! Get down, you weird little thing. I don't know what you are. <laughs> Reminds me of the aliens in Independence Day. One thing I noticed, which I was chatting with the guys about in the Discord as well, is that um, I'm quite shocked at how, I mean, maybe it'll come later as, oh god, status affects city, yeah, everyone's got about three each, thankfully, or hopefully, yeah, okay, she can't do magic anymore, he, yeah, that's consecutive attacks twice in a row, okay. Sounds pretty good. I think Kaim's in the process of learning that, because Kaim attacking twice in a row would be pretty nice. Um, yeah, I maybe it'll come later in the game as I, you know, get new recipes and stuff like that. But as it is now, I can't help but feel like the, um, like the whole. Hey, there we go. He didn't even need to hit him twice. It's just, just a waste of ten magic points. <laughs> it's fine. Um, oh wow, Seth learned level 3 Spirit of Magic, so did Sarah, and Ming learned level 4. Okay, we need to switch them up. Feel, yeah, it does feel like you're constantly, uh, you learn things quite quick, which is on one side, nice. On the flip side, it's like, oh, come on, I'm always changing. I mean, it sounds like a pretty, I'm having a moan about something pretty insignificant. <laughs> but, like, you know, you're constantly changing what they're learning. I don't think there's any point in her learning counter because um, she hasn't got the physical, like, you know, she's not going to strike back with a big physical attack, is she? Um, oh, let's just get them all in wall. But uh, well, eventually, by the looks of it, judging by how few abilities and stuff there are, it feels like everyone's going to learn everything at some point. So, you know, and I've learned all the kind of ones that I'm kind of super eager to learn already, so now I'm just kind of ticking off the boxes. Um, yeah, I, so I figured that rings would probably have a bigger impact in the game than they do, and maybe they will later on. <clears throat> but up to now, it feels like they, they're they not that big a deal, you know what I mean? Like, um, like Kimes apparent, like the Bruiser Ring apparently increases, um, increases physical um, attack, but it increases it by like, you know, from like 150 to like 152 or something stupid, like, it's barely even worth thinking about, um, and then, I, yes, I'm aware that the, um, that those sources are gonna counter, but it's fine. We got plenty of health. They're not doing any any sort of meaningful damage to us. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so at the moment, like, the Boozer Ring does a tiny difference. And then you've got other rings that say, like, you know, has, has a chance of poisoning them. But I literally have never poisoned anyone with it. <laughs> like, the success rate of poisoning people with it must be, like, I don't know, 1%. <clears throat> um, so that's no... Like, nothing to get excited about. Um, yeah, it just seems like a lot of the effects of the rings I have right now are kind of like, yeah, you know, I'm not going to get that excited about it. And, yeah, as I say, hopefully later we'll get some rings that really make a difference. But as it is, um, 
they seem fairly insignificant now. Which is a shame, because I thought the whole ring system seemed like a pretty cool thing. Um, but yeah, so um, maybe later we'll get some rings that are like more key. Right, let's get some physical attacks on these dudes. I think we should do a bit of healing now, which is perfect because um, these, uh, you know, that it avoids the whole magic counter anyway if we do something other than attack them with magic. I'm so glad that the, uh, I'm sure it'll <coughs> ramp back up. <clears throat> I'm sure it'll ramp back up soon. Ooh, that's nasty. I'm sure it'll ramp back up soon, but I'm I'm glad to see. Oh Jesus! I'm okay. Ouch! <clears throat> that was a bad bad turn. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sure it will get okay. more difficult again soon. But for now, I'm glad the. I'm glad to have. Oh, I must have poisoned him. <laughs> Speak of the devil, I was just moaning. Oh, that's unreal. I was just moaning about how um, the poisoning never happens, but I must have poisoned that guy because he just died of his own, that that sorceress guy just died of his own like, you know. Have I got a revive? I mean, I know I've got revive items. I just didn't know if I had a revive. It's like spell. I don't, don't think I have yet. Um, let's just do physical attack and then we'll do another Zephyr just because everyone else could do with a little bit of a heal and Seth will definitely want to be healed okay. once she's back to life Sorry, oh, oh, oh. yeah so um I'm glad that <laughs> things are a little bit more chill oh gods just don't do it on Seth he's gonna do it on Seth okay no for once for once the game didn't handpick the one person I didn't want them to do it on. So I think anyone could have survived that hit, except Seth. Um, right, go for him. Uh, okay, let's go with... I think Sarah's the one who can do, like, next level magic, I think. Yeah, she can do, like, Flara. Um, hopefully it doesn't take two turns, though, because... No, it doesn't, thank God. Okay. Because otherwise, it kind of like, if they're going to make every good spell take two turns, then it really defeats the object of them being good. Because it's like, well, I could just do two smaller ones that's probably a similar amount of damage. Um, bum, bum. Can you do next level stuff? No, you can't. Damn you. Ah, you can just do first level stuff. Hopefully this beast doesn't reflect magic and hopefully our immortals are going to kill the sorceress sorcerer dude this turn please yes there we go and then we can focus all our attacks on this big hairy dude 120 man I might as well have just done Zephyr like oh that was nice Good work, Sarah. See, that's why you need a nice mage like Sarah in the team. Kind of, oh god, lots more stuff, lads. Right, give me a sec and I'll fiddle that around again. Right, boom, ready to go. I'm gonna have to switch out, um, Mac in a bit, I reckon, and bring in, like, Cook or Jansen or something, because, um, Stone Beast Thorn, what is that? Um, yeah, because they've almost learned every ability. A thorn that softens the body recovers one party from Petrify. Okay, one party member. Um, yeah, they've almost learned everything that's possible to learn from Mac, and so I kind of don't want them to be just sat there not learning anything, if you know what I mean. So, where the hell am I going? This is a lovely little maze. Um, yeah, so I want them to be learning something, so I might have to very soon swap out Mac for a bit and bring in a couple of Jansen so they can learn something different. Just tick off all the abilities. Right, I'm gonna kill these guys and then we're gonna see where we can, if we can find our way through this cave. Ah, here we go. New, new direction. Aim calls a memory that was locked deep within his heart. But he's going to view it 
later. The tragedy of the Butcher General. Sounds nice. Okay, let's proceed on. Uh, or not. What? Oh, hang on. Ah, we can jump down there. Okay. Boom. God, this is all right, little maze. This place, is it? I mean, it's not that bad, seeing as you do have a map in the corner. If I would just look at it a bit more often, it would be uh, very easy. all lit up. Oh, that's Firefly. Those are pretty rare. It's a kind of insect that lights up in the dark. If you're gentle to them, they can be used as light. Ugh, I'm not so sure about this. Oh, stop being such a wimp here. Put one on your shoulder, see? It'll stay there. With a cave like this, you never know where the pitfalls might be. It could be pretty dangerous, so we need to protect our light sources. Okay. Is that... Do I need to... I guess I need to examine it. Do I need to... Okay. Does that mean I've got one with me? And if I do something wrong, maybe I get into a fight, I'm going to lose it or something? Do, 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 do. I hope... I, <laughs> I hope getting into this fight is not going to be like, Oh, you've lost your firefly. It's now pitch black. Unlucky. Right. Yeah, I'm going to fight these peeps and see what happens after this fight. See if we've lost our light or not. Right. On we go. We have not lost our light yet. Pick up. Oh, what's that? 500 gold. Did I just come here for that? Okay, I mean, I can see the map, but I can see there's, I guess, a general... Oh, hello, what's over here? I, I can see it looks like we need to head north. Okay, there's... Maybe that's like a shortcut back out of here or something? There's some boulders in the way of... it. You know, that looks like an exit or an entrance or whatever, but one that has boulders in front of it, so we can't go that way. Let's go north. Oh, the great hall of foul creatures. Sounds lovely. Ah! <laughs> oh, hello. What are you talking about? We've got our the whole crew here. We'll smash them. We can, uh, okay, we're not even down there with them, kind of thing. We're like up on a ledge above them. Although you can, you can be pretty hell trap. Oh, this sounds nice. You can be pretty sure we'll, I'm sure we'll catch up with those things at some point. Pretty low uh, random encounter rate, I must say, which is. Never a complaint of mine, never. Um, like, I like to be given the time to explore and just look around and stuff. Right, I will kill these pesky fests. Pe pesky somethings. And then we'll go. Right, okay, let's just keep... Hang on, no, we can't keep heading north, can we? North is where we came from. we got to keep heading south. So we came onto this map. Whoa! Okay. Oh no, you kid. What? Are you kidding me? That is absolutely outrageous. <laughs> I think it's just sent me back to where I was. Like the very first room. Are you kidding me? That is dead. No wonder they've let. No wonder they've given you a low encounter rate. Can you imagine the rage? If you, like, had to go through loads of encounters, you finally get where you're going, and then. I'm going this way this time. And then the game's just like, Oh, you fell through a hole! Welcome to another 50 encounters. Okay, so we're also in the hell trap here, but just a different entrance of it. Dun, dun, dun. Very creepy down here, especially with the uh, music or, or lack of music. We're gonna have to... If, you know, if we come across some new enemies or whatever, nah. I was going to say, if we come across some new exciting enemies, then I'll, I'll I'll kind of leave it in and show you. But if it's just the same old enemies, I'll, I'll cut it and we'll crack on. Right. On we go into the hell trap. 
ideally not falling down holes this time. I mean, that was like a really hot. I got to do more run to encounters probably because I was taking my time there. Um, that was a, a hole. Maybe, maybe that hole you couldn't possibly see the first time round, but you will see it the second time round. But I've got to say that hole the first time round was not easy. So I, I couldn't see it. Um, so hopefully it's visible, nice and visible this time, and I, so it's easy for me to not fall into. Let's see. Right, okay. Just take it nice and slow, Kaim. Oh, for f <sighs> Okay, well, there's a chest there. So, yeah, garbage item that I did not want enough to fall down a hole for. That is really annoying. Right. Okay. I mean, big one big one big fat cut now to get back to where we were. Right, back in the hell trap now, and I'm gonna take a <sighs> what the ah fucking <laughs> hell what that is unreal man. Right, back again. I'm starting to think that I am blind or something. I cannot see these holes at all. Like, what? I'm being so careful now because I don't want to fall down another hole, but I just can't see what is a hole and what isn't. Oh, we can examine. Ah, maybe if we had a, a light. Okay, maybe that's how we can see the holes better. Maybe that's the trick. They did mention about the importance of... Okay, we're back in the foul swamp. Oh, look! Okay. We've set up a shortcut to get back here. We've got rid of the bolts. Okay. So I guess if we die now, we can always come back this route. Okay, well, that's nice. Uh, just keep your eyes peeled. Change the camera angle, please, so that I can actually see where I'm going. That would be delightful. Okay, looks good for now. Oh my god, this... May I think maybe I just got unlucky, you know? Because now I seem to be running and there's no holes anywhere. Or I don't know what happened. Hey, I see a save point! Here's where I run towards it and then fall down some, like, pit hole on the way. Um, what? Okay, I th thought I couldn't get to it there. I thought the chest was blocking my path. Well, seriously, just step over it, dude. Seed. Very nice. Save, yes please. Right, on we go into the hell trap. Or out of the hell trap, hopefully. No more holes, please. <laughs> it's not too much to ask, is it? The great Ah oh, I said we'd be back to the Great Hall of Foul Creatures, didn't I? Now we're back here, but like on the ground floor, I assume. Lovely. Whoa. Do 
Return time. Great. You've knocked out all the lights. Well done. Let's blame Jansen for that. I hear something. There's something there. Now's the time. You wish you had a firefly on your shoulder. No way! You can't be serious! <laughs> now this is more like it. There's only one way out. Is it? We have to go through them. Let's do it. How hard can they be? Although they have just given us a save point, so maybe very hard. <laughs> um. Okay. I wonder if these are dodgeable. Like, you know, they, um... In that other dungeon where there was those big guys that like waxed wax something down on your head or something. I can't remember what it was. Um you could dodge those. A rough eater. His element is earth. Let's say I think wind is the way to go with that. Um Right. What do I want to do though? Um okay, right, let's just do reg oh god, is he in the back row or Sorry, <laughs> I'm panicking. Right, okay. No, they're, they're all in the front row, it's fine. So let's just go A, A. Sarah can do next level magic, so she's gonna do wind nah. Wind nah. You're gonna do shadow, I think, because I, I like attacking everyone. Um, you know, it's worth just doing one single attack if I can do like something like wind now, which is super powerful. But if I'm just gonna do like a weakish attack, then I might as well just attack. Like, I probably do more damage doing a small attack times four than a strong attack times one. You better not have just interrupted his shadow, buddy. He was in the zone. He was ready to attack. Yeah, I thought with there being a. It's always a chance. Oh, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Mac is completely terrified. Damn you. Um, yeah, there's always a chance when they give you a save point in a game that there's a boss or some tough thing coming. Tell you what, let's let's test out just a regular wind. And let's see how, how much damage just a regular wind can do. Then. And then at least we can compare it with Shadow. Plus, as, as more of them die, obviously, it becomes less... <clears throat> doing stuff like Shadow becomes less effective when there's less enemies to hit. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, I'm 450. It's pretty decent. This is probably going to do like a 1200 or whatever. Nice. Okay, let's make sure that we don't neglect our peeps. Um, so I'm going to do a couple of Zephyrs. Zephyr doesn't heal that much. But, you know, two of them will. And everyone needs a little bit of heal. And I wish Mac would uh, snap out of his terror sooner rather than later, please, Mac. This is going to get us right back. Right back in the mix with full health, pretty much, all around. Boom, boom, boom. Right, attack. I'm just gonna get her to do a regular wind because the high tier magic is pretty heavy on the magic point usage. Um, so, you know, I need to save some for later. Although I have got um, like ether type items, which I've, I don't think I've used a single one of them in the whole game yet because it's always been quite generous with like. Oh, no, I don't want to defend. It's always been quite generous that there's always been like a place to rest and top up your points or whatever. It's quite regularly, so you don't. I haven't used an ether that often. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm that big of a fan of the whole composite magic. You know, I assume it must be like a. It, they must see it as like a big deal. Um, because they, you know, they've they've. If so much so that they've kind of created it as its own thing. Um, okay. We've got to fight more. Um, yeah, they've created its own thing, but it's just, it feels like it takes two turns to do it. I mean, maybe if you could do composite magic of, like, second tier spells, then that would be 
that would be more tempting to me. Dun, dun, dun. Right, she's going to get back on the wind now. And you're going to be back on. Now nah, you can just do wind, actually. Let's let's just pile up with the, the wind. Let's ditch the spirit magic for one fight. These go down pretty easy, though, I must say. Like, you know, they've got... Well, I say they go down pretty easy. They don't. They've got a lot of health, but they don't... You know, they're not that dangerous to us, kind of thing. Like, they they have lots of health, and it takes a little while to kill them. But, um... We're not really in any danger in the battle. I realise now, I've said that, we're probably going to get wiped out. <laughs> but, we're usually pretty fine. Right, we, there's a couple of these that need finishing off. Um... Hmm. Deciding which one of them is gonna do. I don't. I'm not sure how much it matters to be honest. They all seem similar magical abilities. Okay, it's not you. I was gonna say which one, which person's gonna do Zephyr. Well, Mac can't do it, so it ain't gonna be him. It's on you, Ming. Yeah, there's a couple of these that must be close to. Yeah, there we go. A couple of these that must be close to death now. They're really going after Kai, aren't they? Which is fine, because he is like the tank. You know, he's if, if you want anyone to take the hits, it's him. Um. We are going to need to give Kai more... More healing, though. Mm. Although, actually, it's so, like... It feels like... Um... Zeph, the difference in magic point usage between heal and Zephyr is so small. It's only an extra five. And... Like, Zeph Zephyr heals just as much to one person as heal does. So, like, you know, heal only does 150. Zephyr does 150. But to everyone. So, if there's ever... If there's ever any... Unless every single person is on full health except one, then it seems like there's pretty much never a good situation to use heal. Because... Mm. Zephyr's just too good. Dun, 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 dun. You're going down now, buddy, with lots of wind. This is your last turn. And then I think what I'm going to do is use my cheeky little tactic that I mentioned last time, which is to go into the menu and heal us up mid... Heal us up in between battles using, like, Cook's magic or Jansen's magic. Because then it doesn't, you know... Doesn't use up the stuff. What the hell? What? What? Did I get into, like, another fight? Like, the What? Alright, fine. <laughs> right, I'm gonna take these out and then we'll move on. I must have got into a random encounter the split second that last one ended. There we go. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> they go down pretty easy, but come on. That's the one we go for. Okay. Find the leader. Okay. Well, hang on. Let me uh, charge up my. Uh, like, I need to recover from that battle a bit. Um, right. Okay. Let's go. Right. How can we get to that red dude? Where's he gone? Oh no! Are you gonna make me fight past more? No. There we go. Get him. Hello. Uh, what? What? <laughs> Did I get him? The game is just like, no, you're not allowed to fight the red one. Okay, fine. Gotta fight my way through these guys again, and then maybe I can do the red one next. Oh, we've been chucked back into a fight again, automatically, instantly. I can only hope it's... Oh, hello. Okay. I was gonna say, we've been chucked back a rough servant. And the rough queen. Okay. 
Similar thing to before though, they've all, they're, they're weak to wind. Um, I assume they're going to hit harder though, so let's not, let's not be complacent. Alright, let's go for A first. Just, it's easy to remember which one I've gone for then. And let's bring out the big ones again. Wouldn't nah. Uh, I kind of, you know what? I kind of want to do a shadow and just attack everyone. Um, definitely want to get a Zephyr in though. I, actually, I should probably have put shield on with someone, but say la vie. <laughs> Maybe we'll do it next turn. Let's. Oh, he dodged and he countered. Dodge and a counter. Suck on that. Yeah, I really should do something like. To, okay, these guys don't hit harder than. Although the queen might. Oh, what? She's made them jealous, and now they're in a frenzy. I assume that. Oh yes. Do you know what? That wasn't actually that much. The power hit, which takes ten magic points, wasn't even that much more powerful than his regular hit. So I don't think I'll be doing that again. I mean, he usually does about two hundred and fifty or something. That did three hundred. Um. And I consume magic points when I attack as well. So I, might as well I might as well stick with that. Actually, can he still do... No, I took... I took black magic off him, didn't he? So he can't do wind. It's fine, it's fine. He can do spirit. You can do it as well. You're going to stick with wind now. We need to get rid of at least a couple of these minions. ASAP. And then I think, yeah, we're going to go with another Zephyr, just to kind of not take any chances. I see that one on the right-hand side is glowing. Is that, maybe that's the one that's in, like, a frenzy? Yeah, he's in a frenzy. <laughs> he's, uh... Oh, what? Are they fighting each other because they're jealous? That's nice, but... Less of the 700 damage, please. Boom. Another one down. It's all thanks to Sarah. Sarah's just cleaning up. Doing like 1,200 damage per, per hit. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. She, I'm definitely getting all, all the attacks are going on the glowing guy this turn. Okay, so it's D. D. And we're definitely giving him a Windnar. Oh, wi I just realized that. Oh, my God. I've been calling it Windnar for ages. And it's not. There's no N. It's Windar. Whatever. Windnar. Sounds way better. <laughs> <laughs> this has got to kill him, surely. We've just unleashed everything on him. And he's already had, like, a few a few, sh a few shadow attacks and stuff. Don't know. Come on, please let's no. I was gonna say please let Sarah get her turn before. Oh what? That's no. And of all the people that he could have done it to, is the one person that probably would have killed him. God damn it! And they've called allies. That is bang out of order. Although the um. The GC is still down. It, like, it hasn't brought it back up. Um, okay, we need to get... S Sarah has to be back in the game. That's like an absolute must. She's a monster. Um, spell. Um, to be honest, you should probably cure poison on yourself, dude. And then let's, let's take a, a little bit more of a slightly defensive turn here. Okay. Get everyone back fighting fit again. Please, please, let Seth kill this. Yes! Seth killed the one who can do the mean damage. Boom. Okay. Right. No! Go! <laughs> That's garbage, man. But, as I say, like, the GC's staying down, so I think we just need to... And it, it's already pretty low. I mean, we could get it to zero, but we definitely need to start just plowing... On the red guy, I reckon. Or the red lady. It's a queen. Um, well, if we take out C... I think C's the only one that we haven't taken out... Once. 
So I think doing that might bring the GC down to zero. And then obviously we're kind of... We can do what we like. Um, let's give a strong healing herb to Sarah. I mean, this is a situation where all wind might not be the worst thing in the world. No, no. Nah. <laughs> what is the heck? What is the thing that's on Mac? I can't remember. Is it a hex? I think it might be. It's alright. Thankfully, her little minions don't do much damage, providing that they're not like, um, glowing. You know, they're not like frenzied, I think was the thing. Ab it! Ab it! Oh, that can't be the end. What? <laughs> I barely touched the queen. <laughs> what a joke. Okay, we've still got to take out her minions, though. So let's not... Let's not take our eye off the ball yet. She was the... I reckon the queen was easier than her minions. Well, maybe that's... Maybe that's the way, isn't it? Like, they're there to protect her. Rather than, you know, she isn't... Okay, yeah, it stops him from doing magic, which is lovely. That's what I love. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess they're just there to protect her, aren't they? She doesn't have to necessarily... No, the queen isn't necessarily tough. She's just the one who's protected. One? What? One? What happened? Oh no, I think Kaim has got some... Kaim must have some kind of status on him that does... that, like... You know, like if you were made small in Final Fantasy VII or whatever, and you suddenly do one damage all the time. Um, come on, which one was that that she just... Oh, damn it, I, I wish I knew which one Sarah had just hit. Because whichever one she just hit is very close to death. But I don't know which one that was. <laughs> Do any of them look particularly? No. Quite often, you know, there's like a, a slight change in what they look like. To, to, dis to kind of display that they're like wounded or whatever. Hmm. Can't, I can't see any differences in any of them. Get this heal in, please. Oh yes, he's got his uh, last resort shield up. Bum, bum. Yeah, if we could get the hit. What the hell? Did I? Really? I'm... Oh, God. Why did I... What? <laughs> I must have accidentally told Sarah to attack. That is... Not smart. Um, yeah, so Kaim basically can't attack anymore. So, he's going to use potions. Black magic. Windar. Go for D. I don't know. And you can't really do much either, so you should heal yourself with an item, because you can't do magic. Which means Ming can focus on doing magic again. Okay. Okay, we've got this we've got this all wrapped up. It's just a matter of time. It's in the bag. At least the queen's gone now, so yes, one down. And I'm sure Sarah, with her win window, is going to finish off one. Um, yeah, at least the queen's gone now, so we can't um, can't have any more getting summoned. Boom! Four against what? Five against one now, even. No, don't do that. Skill? No, don't do that. Uh... Ah, you can do Zephyr actually, yeah. I forgot that and Kain could do Zephyr. You crack on. Crack on, my man. We'll do the Windar. He's not, there's no way he's going to survive a Windar. <laughs> no way. Thank God I brought Sarah along, by the way, with her, like, you know, next tier magic. Because that was a game changer. Like, she, you know, she, I can't... I can't see her leaving 
the team now, to be honest. Because <laughs> her next tier magic is just too powerful. And obviously she can do all the white magic as well. She can do it all. It's all about the mages in this game. Hey, a new slot seed. I'm going to give that to Sarah. Because um, she has hardly any skill slots. Hey, it's they're all running away. Hey, if you want to defeat the body, just cut off the head. Damn straight. <sighs> Which is funny, by the way, because I said earlier. Do you remember I, I said like half a dozen episodes ago? Um, something about like oh, I've got all these skill seeds but I don't want to I don't know if I should give them to Kaim and Seth because what if I get some more immortals and then I wish I had some spare well that's what's happened <laughs> I've got a new a couple of I've got Ming and Sarah now and I kind of wish the city of Saman okay I kind of wish I could give some of those slots to them now but I can't so they're just going to have to do some catching up, you know? The, the next few slot seeds are not going to Kaim and Seth. God damn pan pipes. Yeah, another dungeon down. Another, uh... Another boss, sort of. Defeated. I guess that counts as a boss, right? The merchant town of Saman. I promise I will... We're going to leave it here for now. But, um... If I want to find a save point. Something's not right with this town. It's strange. Come to think of it. Salmon's a merchant town. It should be filled with people from Gunsa. In all corners of the world. Hey, what is it with that house? It looks like a face. <laughs> yeah, it does. Will you stop that? Now I can't not see it as a face. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I'm sure this has got to be full of shops with accessories and weapons and stuff. And I'm going to have a good loot. I'm not going to rush through this town because... It's been ages since I've got some new equipment, and I don't want to go the whole game without new equipment. Hey, are you false travelers? I'm amazed you made it here. Didn't the monsters attack you? Is there something going on? I'd say for a while now. Starting about a year ago, we've been having all sorts of weird things happen in town. Furniture dancing around, children's toys causing havoc, and people are starting to wander around aimlessly like zombies. Can't get any help from the goats either. Whatever it is that's causing all this is also sealed off the ice canyon path that connects us to Goza. You're kidding me. We're in a rush to get to Goza. Well, don't look at me. That path is already dangerous, winding its way through the cracks of the glaciers. Now the entrance is blocked by these huge ice columns. Well, that's our next task, isn't it? The only way to Goza now is by sea. The only ship we have left that hasn't been sunk is just a tiny boat. It isn't sturdy enough to make it anywhere near Goza. Really? Even with a pirate like Seth at the, at the helm? I don't know. We will have a good look around this town next time, because I'm going to leave it there for today. As I say, another dungeon down and another boss. Pretty smoothly gone, apart from falling down a bunch of holes, which is rage-inducing. <laughs> but otherwise, it all went well. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Leah!